I recently made the switch from Robinhood to Webull because in my opinion, Webull is just so much better. And because I know that switching from Robinhood to Webull can be a little bit overwhelming, I decided to make this walkthrough slash review to help you navigate through the app better and to show you what I personally believe makes Webull a much better app. But first, if you're new here, please be sure to subscribe and hit the bell notification icon so that you don't miss any future content and giveaways. I post two new videos every week and I would absolutely love to have you as part of the family. Also, another thing that is absolutely essential before we get into the video, please be sure to locate the like button and gently tap it. Also, if you haven't already but are considering making a Webull, please be sure to check out the Webull referral link down below in the description. When you sign up using the referral link, you will get a free stock valued anywhere from eight to $1,600. And when you sign up using the referral link, not only do you get a free stock, but it also helps to support the channel. So for those of you who sign up for Webull using the referral link, Thank you. And one last thing before we get in the video, I'm just going to take my Instagram and I'm going to leave it right here. Do with it as you will. And without further ado, let's get into the video. All right, so here we are in the Webull app and, and I'm going to try to make sure that I hit each and everything for you so that we don't miss out on anything and so you get a real, a real good idea of how Webull actually works and what Webull actually is. So uh, on the first tab, you have all your watch lists and all your positions. These are the positions I have. Uh, this, is, this is what it looks like when you're looking at a stock. And actually, while we're on this screen, let's take a second and take a look at all the tools and all the information it gives you. So uh, yeah, I just clicked on the stock and basically Webull gives you so much information. I don't understand why you would even need to leave the app. Okay, so one thing that's cool is that you can look at the chart in whatever increment, time increments you want. They got one minute all the way up to four hours. Not only do they have that, you can look at the daily, weekly, monthly, quarterly, yearly chart. And then on top of that, you also have options for different kinds of uh, charting. So I personally like to use candlesticks, but you can, if you're used to Robin Hood, you can use the line thing, zoom in, zoom out, all that good stuff. And one thing that I love over Robin Hood is instead of just being able to look up to the five year, you can actually look up to max and see the entire history of how this stock has traded and where this come from. Another cool thing about Webull is you can actually set up your own indicators and I actually have a few set up right here. As you can see, I have the RSI, MACD, and I have a moving average line. So uh, yeah, you can also draw, you can draw trend lines, vertical lines, all that stuff. I don't really use those features on Webull, but uh, nevertheless, it's pretty cool. But uh, I use the indicators, you can set up the moving average and another thing to know about the moving average is you can customize it. So if you click more, yeah, you can just kind of come in to your indicators, customize them. I have the one, I have 180 day moving average. That's where you go to change the settings for everything. And then another cool thing that's going on right now is when you sign up for Webull, they're giving you three months free access to level two options. And the cool thing about level two is you can kind of get in and see uh, the orders that have been put in. So uh, one one thing that's pretty cool to know is like right here, this is the ask. So you know, whenever this stock hits 3250 right here, you can see that 7,000 shares will be sold or there's an order for 7,000 shares to be sold. And that might that might move the stock a little bit. So just having this level two just gives you access to, to some deeper insights. Also want to let you know that this isn't something that uh, Webull does for free. I think they actually make you pay for it just like Robinhood. This is something that you only get with Robinhood Gold, but uh, either way, it's cool to have three months free. I'm really enjoying it right now. And then if you move down, you have some more information. You have the times and sales, the volume analysis, all that good stuff and then the order flow distribution. You can see if it's being bought more or sold more. Also, you can also see the large scale orders in the last five days. So yeah, that's pretty dope. But yeah, that's just one tab of looking at the stock. You can also click over and look at the news and this, this stock we're looking at isn't really the most popular. So, you know, the news isn't the most frequent for this, but uh, 
you definitely get the news a lot faster on Weeble than you do on Robinhood. They also have this, these comments in the community tab. And one thing that's just really cool about this is you can kind of see what other people are thinking about this stock, how they're feeling. And right now is one thing that's pretty cool to me is this uh, bearish and bullish indicator. Let's actually take a look at the different stocks so I can show you how it would look with the more popularly traded stock. So I'm gonna uh, actually hop over. Oh, also just notice while I'm hopping over that you can make different lists and I'm going to my watch list to pick on something a little more popular like Apple. So going to look at those same things, if we look at Apple and go to the news again, you can see that we have news as soon as 14 minutes ago. And then looking at the comments, you can see that people are very bullish on Apple. I think this is something that people actually vote on. You can vote on whether or not it's going to be bearish or bullish. And then the cool thing about this comment section is, is live. Uh, you can kind of see what people have to say about Apple and people say, wow, that was a bull trap, all sorts of stuff. This may not be a uh, proven information, but you can kind of see what other investors are kind of thinking. Another cool thing that Weeble has is the analysis tab. I don't really spend too much time on this tab, but it can provide some deeper insight with what's going on with the stock. And yeah, just overall what's going on. You can see the analyst ratings, you can see the analyst price targets, and you can see the average, the high, the low, and it even has this little tick mark right here that shows you where it is trading. You scroll down, got some pretty detailed analysis, and it even has a support and resistance line. So yeah, that's, that's good to look at. You can also see the short interest and Weeble just kills the game with this analysis. This is the press release tab. Uh, you can see the dividends, the payouts, the splits. We recently just had a four for one split on Apple. And then you can also see the insider activity, which is really cool because uh, normally I would have to go online if I wanted to see anything like that. But uh, looking in the Weeble app, I can just go over to a different tab and then, yo, got all the information right here. Then you have all the history of the press releases. And then you can look over, see the financials, see the earnings per share. You can see when their next earnings is, uh, all these different indicators and whatnot the earnings forecast, all that good stuff, the income statements, balance sheet, all the financials. And then over here on profile, is, and it basically just gives an idea of what the stock is, what the company does, uh, what all they're involved in. And you can see the institutional holdings and that can be really beneficial because you know there are some ETFs that are really good at picking out winners. If you see a certain stock is being held by that institution, it may be incentive for others to buy it, which may be a good reason for you to buy it. That's going to be a good chunk of looking at the stock itself, but looking more into analysis, we have this other tab and, and over here on the market tab, you can see that we have the global markets and they have the advancers and decliners, which shows you overall how the market is doing for that day. Decliners are the stocks that are negative on the day. Advancers are the stocks that are positive on the day. And then it looks like we have about 309 stocks that are just chilling, you know, at break even on the day. And then right here, you see the net inflow. And then this one's pretty cool. You can see the top gainers right here. If you want to see more top gainers, you can click on view all. And not only can you look on the day, you can look at top gainers for the past five days, past month, three months, and the past year. You can also look at the pre-markets and after hours top gainers, which is pretty cool. And not only can you look at the top gainers, but you can also look at the top losers, which is another thing that's pretty cool. And then when you scroll down, you can look at the most actively traded stocks, which is pretty good knowledge because you know if there's volume, there is going to be movement for that stock. And then scrolling on, you can see that Weeble has all these ETFs to choose from that you can check out and yeah, they have Dow Jones ETFs, S&P ETFs, NASDAQ ETFs, VIX ETFs, uh, just all these ETFs that you can choose from. If you click on them, there's like a range of different ETFs. So yeah, it's pretty cool. It shows you industry performances. And yeah, I, I just love this market tab. Then it also has stuff on crypto. Haven't really messed with that on Weeble. So I'm just going to kind of, you know, look over that. And then also has information on global. Haven't really done too much with this either, but 
you know, that's that's good to look at. So it looks like they have some stuff for Forex. And yeah, then if we click over to the Explore tab, this is more where you're gonna find more of the like overall top news. So yeah, that's, that's pretty cool. You can see the news. And then they actually have a screener that you can screen for stocks however you want to. So if I wanted to screen for stocks that were in the United States within a certain market cap, and then that was a certain price and just whatever you want to screen for, you can screen for all these things and just want to let you know that is available and it will make a selection of all those stocks. If you only can trade from stocks price $5 to $10, the screener is a great way to find it. And it's actually been pretty good for me finding stocks to sell premium on as well. Now that I've showed y'all all that, I kind of just want to show y'all some of the things that you can do on the trade tab. Okay, so looking, if we hit the trade tab, obviously I'm not going to buy any Tesla right now, but uh, you can actually do some pretty cool things when you're purchasing. But yeah, with Tesla, if I wanted to put in a stop order, I could put in a stop order. And when you put in a stop order for a stop loss on Webull, the app actually sells out uh, when it crosses that stop loss point. Because one thing I noticed on Robinhood is when I put in a stop loss, it did not honor that stop loss. It The stock would go way, 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 way down. And then it would sell out of that stock. But, uh, Webull is a little bit quicker when it comes to selling out the stop losses. So yeah, definitely a lot better on Webull. Another cool thing that you can do is, let me actually go to another stock I'm watching and we'll, we'll go to Google. So if I wanted to go on Google, you can actually set up alerts. So if you click on more down here and you click on alert, you can have it alert you to whenever it hits a certain price and whenever it moves down a certain price, you can do it by percentages or actual dollar cost movement. And then also if I wanted to get news on Google, if this were something that I was watching very, very closely, you can actually come right here where it, where it says news right here and you hit this and you now get news notifications on Google. But I'm personally going to turn that off because I don't watch that that closely, but yeah, it will, it would ping me every time there was some sort of news on Google. Another cool thing that you can do on Webull is you can actually replay the trading day. This can be pretty cool, pretty helpful just for learning the way that a stock moves. So uh, if I hit more and then I go to replay, it's, it's going at a 60 times speed right now, but this is how Google actually traded. I'm not sure if this is today. No, this is, this is how, this is how, this is how Google traded yesterday at 60 times speed. If you, and if you don't like going at 60 times speed, you can speed it up, slow it down. Uh, for instance, we'll go at 120 and this kind of just helps you get a view of the way that stock trades. Another cool thing is uh, we kind of took a look at, you know, some of the comments for the individual stocks, but it's also this community tab where you can just, where it's just, just like a community of traders where traders can post and, you know, make things known like right here on ticket symbol GEBO, there is a bullish pattern forming. Uh, Webull also has competitions and um, I'm not in those, but paper trading competitions, top news and, and watch list news. And one more thing that's pretty cool about Webull is the ability to paper trade. In this world of paper trading, I am a millionaire. So this paper trading feature makes me happy. My only complaint is they don't have options for paper trading but other than that this app is pretty solid my only overall complaint for this app right now is that you don't get all the options trading features as fast as you do on Robinhood. so right now as you can see i am if we look at my positions i'm actually in an options trade i'm down 17 dollars and 50 cents on it but i'm actually in an options trade and you know, while we're here, let's take a look at the option screen. I love the fact that it has this chart that basically shows you how the option will perform. I also love when platforms have options chains that are more like this. You can see the percent change, the implied volatility, the delta, all that just by scrolling over. So yeah, I love almost everything about the WeWool platform, but my biggest complaint is there is no options paper trading, which I think is crucial. For that, you still got to go to Thinkorswim. And then also, I don't love that as of right now, I can only buy naked calls and puts. I actually want to sell some premium right now because I'm, I'm trying to get this selling premium challenge started. 
But uh, as of right now, I have to make a few trades and then hopefully I'll be able to sell some premium. So yeah, I'll keep y'all updated on that. If you enjoyed the video or learned anything new, please be sure to smash the like button. It really helps to grow the family and I really appreciate it as well. And also, if for some reason you watched this far and you haven't already, please be sure to subscribe and hit the bell notification icon so that you don't miss any future content or giveaways. I post two new videos every week and I would absolutely love to have you as part of the family. And last but certainly not least, thank you so much for watching and peace.